Welcome back. It's a creative way for seniors in the Francis Hall District to express themselves and raise some money. Not to mention to claim a very important parking space. Mm -hmm. Steve Harris has that story. There's more to the Francis Hall North parking lot than meets the eye. Move a car or two and a concrete canvas is revealed. The spots are paid for by the seniors, who then put brush to blacktop and make them their own. It's a tradition started last year by this high school business teacher. Some schools in Florida were doing this, and so I did a little research on it. Thought it was awesome for the seniors to have something to look forward to every year and be able to reserve their own spot. This one was 2021. Seniors like Becca Brissett. Her painting was a team effort. My whole family came out. We had dinner out here and it was just a really fun experience. Minnie made her friend Nadia's as payback for driving her around places. I really like that they're giving us like the opportunity in order to paint our spots because everything's weird this year. Now word of this asphalt artwork spread across town and now the parking lot at Francis How High, well, see for yourself. Business teacher Nadine brought it here as a fundraiser for DECA, a professional organization of marketing students. I would love to take credit for this awesome idea, but it was not my idea at all. Remember Mike from Francis Hall North? Well, he's her husband. And just like his students, hers are big fans of the project. I think they were just so thankful to have the opportunity since so much has been taken away from them with COVID. A lot of things that you look forward to when during your senior year have gotten taken away from us. So I thought it was really nice that DECA made this fundraiser for us and that they could do something for us that no other senior class at Howell's ever gotten to do before. At the end of the school year, these parking spot murals will be painted over and a new class of seniors will paint their own stories between the yellow lines. Steve Harris, News 4.